here, welcome back to Maple Story, the Heroes of Maple Storyline. Once again, if you hear anything in the background, that's just how my headset is. It just records anything in the background. But anyways, um, yesterday, Act 2 has been released, and I'm really excited to, um, play it today. So let's do that. Act 2. We did Act 1 and Act 1.5. Really bad at summarizing stuff, so um, yeah, stuff happened here. So, anyways, we are gonna start Act Two. Ab Abraxas, Abraxas, I don't know. Evan and Mir arrive in Ni Nihal Desert to search for what food left them, but what could be waiting for them there? And here's what we get. I really want to get to Evan's seat chair. But I had to wait until all four acts are released and play it again. And also, before we start... Um, yeah, the thumbnail for this, um... Playthrough, you could say, is still in a work in progress. Work in progress. I never knew drawing six characters at the same time. Well, not really at the same time, but six characters in general would take forever. But anyways, let's begin. Wait, let's... Yes. And like the previous two acts, we are not playing our, as ourselves. So, yeah. Damien led his army of demons to victory, conquering Mian Archipelago. The Alliance remains locked in battle for the fate of the fallen land. Between the Osaria and Man, another great war was brewing. But he's here. They're probably just running late. But Master, it's way past the meeting time. Huh, I didn't think I'd be able to convince everyone. But I thought that at least someone would show up. Did I do something wrong? Sorry, but I'm going to have to catch up with you later. Maha's not looking good. I think he was injured when he clashed with Damien's weapon. I didn't know weapons could get injured. Will he be okay? He'll be fine. But to actually damage Maha, Damien's sword is no ordinary weapon. Special weapons like Maha cannot be repaired in the usual way. I'm going to help Eren. I don't know if... I'll be able to persuade the other heroes my by myself. You needn't worry, Evan. You're Fruit's successor. If there was one thing Fruit excelled at, it was enlisting others in va vague and dangerous tasks. That's right. Besides, we'll be back soon enough. Gather the other heroes and wait for us. <sighs> Maybe I'm not qualified to be Fruit's successor. Then we'll go alone, and prove ourselves worthy of fruit and Afrin's legacies. Yeah, you're right, Mir. Don't lose hope, Master. I'll eat you if you say something depressing again. That's just mean. Wait a minute, Mir. Did you just lick your lips? That's so mean. Let's go! Oh, Mir's being so mean. Act 2. Abraxas. Sanctum of Prophecy. And I'm gonna remove this pillow. 
Okay. Once again, teleport. A. Okay. We're not gonna waste our skills, and we're slow. Okay. And also, it's kind of early in the morning for me, so I'm still tired and I'm not reading things properly. Okay. So, where's this ancient ruin, Master? It should be somewhere around here. This is where Fruit told us to go. Maybe it was destroyed? It's been a long time after all. Then, oops. there, sh okay. there would still be some trace of it, even if it was, even if it was only a pile of rubble. Master, did you get shorter? I've always been short, Mir. Oh, for a second. <laughs> oops. Deja vu. <laughs> Sorry if I didn't read some lines there. It kind of rushed. Ah, oh, no. Not again. Help me! Oh my god, my stupid glasses. Wait, where am I? To think that a place like this was hidden under the Nihal Desert all this time. Unbelievable. And there's Mir. Master, this place is huge! We may be <laughs> okay. We may be the first visitors to this place in hundreds of years. Are these the ruins Fruit told us about? You said they were de dedicated to some god. What was it again? Um Abraxas Abraxas, the watchful god. No, I think I'd remember if that were it. Aside from written references, a rat Abraxas has been nearly forgotten. There's no shame in not knowing about him. In the beginning, all things were animate. Were animate. The stones, the trees, and the wind. The sun and the moon, the rivers and oceans. There existed 365 gods inhabiting 365 creations. And they lived according to their own 365 laws. Why is that repeated so many times? But the many gods quarreled over the domains and laws, and there was great chaos for a time. To bring order to the world, a compromise was reached. All of the world would be governed by the same laws, the laws of light, life, and time. And in a new... I can't read. And in this new world, the 365 gods dwindled in power and were ultimately forgotten, save one, Abraxas. It was Abraxas's duty to watch over the graves of those prime forces that came before. And something interesting about the laws? Light, life, and time also have their own transcendence. As we all know by now. Wow, Master! You're suddenly, you suddenly seem so smart! You're like a real magician! <laughs> stop it. Hey, wait! I am a real magician! Okay. Master, shall we keep going? Uh, yes, we should. Okay, we have some battles. It's gonna lag. Okay, what is this? Oh, I'm gonna have pets to loot anything. 
So don't mind me if I'm just randomly looting the stuff. Okay, ah. Also, due to the lag, I can't really read any of the things on the right because it's going too quickly. What the? I'm automatic. Okay. So that's how it works. Okay, this is really hard, apparently. Um. to talk about, in my opinion. Nothing really new happened. Still working on the, um, thumbnail for this, um, playthrough. I also have, like, the Kinesis thumbnail ready, but I don't want to draw it yet. And, um, yeah. Also, I plan to make some more speed paint videos soon, and I hope they're not as bad as the one I had recently. Well, the most recent one up to date. I actually kind of removed it off the channel because it was so terrible. Like, I was so ashamed of it. And, um, yeah. What stage is this again? Pay attention. Okay, this last one. Oh yeah, new recent... <coughs> And in recent news, um, I'm very excited for the game Tales of Berseria to come out soon. But it's actually coming, it's actually being released in 2017 for English players. And that sucks because I had to wait that long. And I really want to know what the story is for that game. Because according to, um, information, um, it's a distant prequel to Tales of Zestiria, the game I kind of, kind of playing again recently. It's really fun. Even though there was some debate about the, um, character, like, the characters and, like, how they joined the party and stuff, I don't really mind. It's, it's a really good game. The story is amazing. But anyways, that's enough talk for that as we continue on. Okay, now what are we doing? These rocks look suspicious. Very suspicious. Look, Master! A door! We should probably get ready. Who knows what's waiting inside? The door is sealed with magic. Can we just break it down? I didn't think that's an option. Well, apparently it is. It's not budging. I know you can hit it harder than that. Why don't you try again? Okay. Mirror. Deep breaths. And space bar. Nope. That didn't work. There's gotta be a way. That's moving. You will pay for trespassing upon these hall this hallowed ground. And their name is Kappas. Oh dear. Okay, um. We can't even defeat it. Okay. Okay. 
that big of a deal. I mean, because I'm small, that just means I'm less of a target. Faster. Can't really do anything, can we? Yeah, we can't really do anything, so we're just staying around until like something happens, I guess. Understand. It's like our attacks aren't doing anything. Master, I think it's under some kind of special s spell. I have no need for magic. I am immortal. By order of the king, I guard this sanctum. King, do you mean Aswan, the lost king? Though the kingdom has turned to dust, the king's authority is eternal. You cannot defeat me with your pitiful magic. I know it's animating now. Who dares strike me? Reveal yourself! Mercedes. Identify yourself! I am Mercedes, ruler of all loyal. Do you dare to challenge my authority? Ruler or no, you have no you hold no authority here. You are not the king whom I serve. It is my duty to protect this place. Your loyalty, your loyalty is ad admirable, but you leave me no choice. I'll just have to take you down. This thing looks tough. Okay, so we, I think Corey's in his weak spot. Can we strike him up until the core is exposed? I can't move. Oh. I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to read what's on the side. So, yeah, boss. What am I doing? <laughs> okay, ow. Okay, we're easily dying. Well, not really, but still. Oh gosh. Um I still like the switching mechanic. It's pretty cool. His attacks can't do anything, but hers can for some odd reason. So we're just staying with her. Okay. We can also go like that. Sorry if my commentating is really boring in this um, video. Um, or videos if I split this in half. I don't know why! I'm just like, eh. really happened this week. Well, besides, um, hearing, um, new dub anime coming out this summer, which I'm really excited to watch because, well, I prefer English dub, as I said, um, a few videos ago, because I do really like reading subtitles. There are exceptions, but only if the anime doesn't have a dub. And one of the things I'm looking forward to is watching the Zestiria adaptation. I really want to watch it. And I'm fully aware that they might, that, well, they might, they will, like, change the voice actors for some characters. Because, yeah. Because it's Funimation stubbing the Zestiria adaptation. They're mostly going to get voice actors in their vicinity, so, yeah. But I don't really mind, because I kind of watch a lot of dub anime by now that I know a lot of voice actors. Okay, now we should be done with this thing. Okay, we defeated it. I can't 
can't believe this. Never in my long life have I been defeated. I'll give you one last chance. Will you let us pass? I cannot. Then I have no choice but to destroy you. I am not afraid to face my fate. Wait, you're the gate. You're the gatekeeper of this place, not some mindless monster, right? I was entrusted with the safety of this place by the king himself. Do not compare me to a mere mon monster. If you are the gatekeeper, then can you grant me permission to enter? What do I have to do? Wait just a second. I don't need anyone's permission. Mercedes, you are not the ruler of this place. What did you say? What did you just say? There's no reason to force our way through if we can simply get permission to enter. If this is Fruit's test, then I want to pass it. What did you say, boy? You know Fruit the Dragon Master? I am his successor. Ha 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 ha. That was a bad laugh, but I don't care. No wonder you look so familiar to think after all these years. Very well, child. I have a I have I have riddle for you. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to say, I have a riddle for you. Answer it correctly and you may all pass. Let me guess, it's one of the classics. What walks on four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon? What? It actually looks distressed. Okay. No, it's a different riddle. Just give me a moment to remember. This is a riddle. This is the riddle. What's, what is long in the morning, short at noon, and long again at night? Uh, I don't think I should say it. Just say the answer. What is long in the morning, short at afternoon, and long again at night? Answer all in low case. Please tell me this is right. That's correct. Okay. You may pass. Thanks. You enter with the permission and blessings of Kappa's the Great. The Great. The Gatekeeper. Do not think this will go unrecognized. Okay. And we enter. Okay. Oh. Mercedes, wait up. something clear before we proceed. Just because Fruit was our leader doesn't automatically mean you are now. I don't take orders from you, especially where dumb riddles are concerned. Yes, I'll keep that in mind. Is something wrong? Is that it? Doesn't my saying that hurt doesn't my saying that hurt your pride as a dragon master? That, that sentence doesn't make sense, but it does. I just thought it was good advice from the ruler of the elves. You're sort of humble, just like Frude. I guess you really are his successor. Sorry, I think I'm just angry that I won't see him again. Oh. Forget what I said before. I'm looking forward to working with you. Same here. There are likely to be traps here, so watch your- Okay. Ah! Step. Monsters are coming in! We need to get- Get your hands off me! Luminous! 
games. Focus on the monsters in front of you. Okay, sorry if the audio go went loud there. I think that's normal. Anyways, um... What did I do? So I just keep defeating monsters until, like, something happens? That was near the temple! Oh, ow, ow, don't kill my horns, master! What would you move? You're a nice one! Hey, no fair. Having fun with Alvin? Oh, Phantom. Please, not that. Okay. Basically, we have an option to play forever at that point. Okay. It's a good thing they're both here. I'm glad to see they still work so well together after all these years. Oh yeah, these two have a rivalry, or like, they just don't like each other. A bit rusty, are we? I suppose you're still trying to remember how this whole hero business works. Just follow my lead. I defeated more monsters than you did. Good children don't tell lies, Luminous. I was counting, you know. I felt I felt the last monster. Your last one was vanquished by my blood. <laughs> yeah, they have a really bad blood going on between them. Then by the logic, my cart noir took care of at least three of yours. I'm done with this. All these years and you have not changed it. really get along, do they? Thankfully, singing in the world doesn't call for us to get along. Okay, I just wanted to fix that. Okay. And yes, Phantom and Luminous are bickering. Feeling this feels all the shippers out there who shift Phantom and Luminous together. <laughs> yeah, I've been seeing kind of pictures of that everywhere. Don't ask. Okay, as I was trying to say before, um, right there, when the audio went really loud, um, before like all this cutscene, um, you're having the choice of playing either as Phantom or Luminous, and it doesn't really matter your choice as you could just defeat all the monsters, whatever you like. I just picked whoever, so, yeah. There is slightly more dialogue on Luminous' side, but, uh, I don't want to check up on that. It's too much work. But anyways, let's continue, and hopefully I read things properly. Okay. And as I know from... I don't know. I'm gonna do a lot of editing in this video, so, yeah. What's this? Oh. Look! Over there! Why is it glitched? That's a huge engraving, Master! It's nice, but I think it's a little too big to steal. You don't say. You're like that small compared to that. Is thieving the only thing you think about? Let's investigate. We might learn something about this place. Okay, then. What? That wasn't really much of a puzzle. <laughs> Evan, do you know what these symbols represent? The three circles represent light, life, and time, right? I think it's a dis dip. I think it's a depiction of how the three transcendents maintain balance in the world. Hmm. I guess you're smarter than you look. It's like 15. Okay. All that is plain enough. The real question is who carved this? And that's actually a good question. Who carved that? I like how it's glowing now. 